Experts have found that the fewer group transitions with school-aged children, the better. Too often, large group transitions bring out negative interactions between children and between adults and children. Group transitions usually mean increased noise. Children may be unwilling to leave their current activity and may be confused about how to behave. If an adult wants children to be quiet during this time, a power struggle can occur between the adult and children. If children are not engaged while waiting, negative behaviors result. Staff can help make transitions successful by allowing children to transition individually, either by following a child leader or by choosing to initiate their own transition. Transitioning in small groups cuts down on waiting time and allows some children extended engagement with a captivating experience. Do you usually move all the children at the same time from one activity to the next, or do children transition one at a time or in small groups? Some instructors have set up um, practices or rituals up front for students, so they might use, you know, I'm going to put my hand in the air when it gets, you know, there's too much talking or it gets loud and, and wait for everybody to notice. Everyone puts their hand in the air as they notice the instructor and then the room sort of settles down. Um, they have little tricks or gimmicks like that that they've set up up front with the students so the students understand and they don't have to yell, they don't have to, you know, raise their voice to try to get the room to settle down. This camp director uses several techniques like this to manage many active groups helping children switch gears and disengage from small group work to attend her instructions quickly. One of the things um, in the classroom, you spend a lot of time kind of building up what you're going to use as your attention getters or different things, but with camp, we're here for such a short period of time, we have to jump into things. Um, like the call out, call back, tends to be something quickly that everybody can grasp onto. Say you, science! You! Science! You! All right, so. So when I call out, and, and I tell them as part of the direction, when I say science, you say you, or when I say myth, you say busters, and then they know the direction right away, and it's something that they can all kind of do. And the interesting thing when you're in a group setting like this, um, they tend to respond faster sometimes than even in your classroom would be, because um, they're, it, it, at first it's unexpected, and then they just get into you. The routine of that's what we do when she says it and they know what's happening next it's kind of a um, I've used different transitions so that's when I'm getting their attention back because we're going to move on with our group instruction um, but I didn't want that same expectation to be from something else so the lights I use the lights when I'm just wanting to give them an added information so the activity's not done yet they're not out of time but there's something that I do need them to hear so I need their attention where when the, the callback of science and you and myth and busters, that's kind of the indication that we're now moving on. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, truth seekers, what do you think? The counting, one of the things, I've used that when they're kind of discussing as a group and they're having a conversation. Um, and at that point they're supposed to come to a conclusion so they're supposed to have some idea or thought about what it is that we've been talking about so I've used the counting to kind of give them a time frame of if you haven't come to that decision yet your group kind of needs to wrap it up and, and get to that point point. and so the counting gives them an indication of you're almost out of time but you still have a little bit of time left so that they know um, that they have to get to that conclusion. Planning transitions and being flexible and realistic about them will help minimize challenges and reduce frustrating or unsafe behavior of the children.